as a teenager, I had a normal family life. That's the scary part of it, to, to a degree, because of what I got up to. At the age of seven and eight years old, I got, I got sexually abused and uh, by a family member friend. And because of that, my identity was so messed up in, in school. So I was, I remember going to primary school. I started taking drugs in primary school. I can remember running away from home at the age of 12, 13, got expelled out of high school. But that all that delinquency all started because of the lack of identity yes. that came with the abuse. Yeah. I was such a rejected young man. I was bullied when I was in primary school. That caused a lot of rejection. That rejection drove me to seek power and supernatural power. So with my friends, we started calling up demons. Um, that's where I began to open up the occult world for me. I would sit in my room late dark at night and that rejection would drive me to the dark side. And I remember the first night after I had an encounter with God, I, I was lying in my bed and my, my house was a drug house. People were running around with drugs and it was people getting drunk and, and out of it. And, and, and I was again to lie in bed and I closed my door and just as I went to bed at night, I saw a spiritual force flying into the room sitting in front of my bed and pointed his finger in my face and said to me that if you carry on with this journey, I'm going to kill you. And at that point, that's where I knew, listen, you know, this is real, what, what I've been dealing with and what I've experienced, the, the encounter that I had with God. And then I began to realize that it's demons that we're dealing with, you know. He was the guy that was influential in my salvation, he was my drug dealer. So I was getting drugs. We were getting kilograms of, of things, getting put in our hands for free. We'd go sell the stuff um, and that's kind of where I, I met him because he came to the drug den. And, and then I think I, tried, I took acid one night. My mom just prayed. My mom took me to the church the next day. And then I just, I don't know, I went to the front again and it just, God came back into my life. Awesome. I had an encounter. Awesome. God set me free. Um, yeah, man, and there was a huge change. And I think that's in the process when I came back. Um, Leo, I think it was about two years when I was saved and Leon had obviously still, you had carried on. Yeah, we were sitting in this house, getting drunk, sniffing chloroform and he came walking in that night, August mm. 25th, 2002. When he came walk towards us, when he spoke, there was authority. Mm. Um, I tried to resist him. When he spoke about God, I was like, no, 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 you know, I don't want to hear this. But something was arrested inside of me. And as you were speaking, the power of God into that place and you know I remember him he was going off on a tangent <laughs> Leon you're gonna go to hell and this and that and if you don't you know I just remember that vaguely but it, the words wasn't as effective as what the spirit behind it was and the fact that he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and we stood up he just I just remember the altar so call the altar prayer <laughs> uh, or the prayer of salvation and he laid his hands on my head and it was like electricity shot through my body wow. and I was set free in one second. I remember waking up on the floor and I really? thought, what is this? You know, and I never experienced the power of That's God. Amazing. So I looked at my hand and I felt electricity going through my hands. Wow. I felt the anointing. And, um, and I looked at my friend that also just got saved now. And I said to him, what is this, what I'm feeling? And now my drug dealer friend who's <laughs> saved is standing in front of us. And I'm looking at my other friend that's on the floor with me. And he's looking at me and he says, no, this is the Holy Spirit. I said, how do you know? You know? <laughs> you know? He, he said to me, he, he said, no, he's, he's actually a bachelor in Christian. And I never knew that. And, but I walked out of that house free. And we just got closer and closer to God. And that's how we were getting out there and we were touching people's lives. We, we, and saw, we saw f almost 500 young people's lives changed. You know, we yeah, saw it was the crazy. crew. I mean, we that's were just on fire. We, we cast our devils through the night. We wow. would have yeah. six hour deliverance sessions with, with young kids, you know, our age, our friends. Mm -hmm and it was, it was fun. I was truly changed by the power of God. I am an evangelist and I am prophetic and I operate in a, in a revival atmosphere, is that okay? We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That principality, it must come down before revival will happen.